Hi guys! Welcome to What Is World. I don't know if I've ever done a video like this because this is kind of a like what's new in a brand video and in this case it's what's new from NYX. I had access to some newish type of things so I grabbed you know like I had a little handful I didn't go crazy you know I'm not gonna have every color of one item but I'm gonna show you what I got. So the first one is the NYX Total Control Drop primer. I've heard that they've released some new shades of the drop foundation which is really great. It was already great. This is same type of primer but uh, in that same little drop bottle. So I am gonna try it for you guys. Here it is. It looks exactly like all their drop foundations. Glass bottle, little dropper kind of situation. It sounds just as liquidy as the foundation. I'm gonna put some in my hand and put it on my face because normally before I do any other parts of my makeup, I do primer and then I typically do eyes and then face and then lips. So that's what I'll be doing in this video. I have, you know, one in each category type of thing after this primer. It's kind of this like way more opaque color than I was expecting. Oh, it's silky though. So at this moment in time, I don't have anything against this yet. We're waiting, we're gonna see. One thing about the packaging, that I see all the time is that if you drop this it will break like if you drop it on hard surface if you knock it over without the top on it will go all over the place so just keep that in mind be really careful with this type of um, packaging so after I had put that primer on I went and looked in the mirror and from what I can tell at this moment in time it really looks like it's blurred out a lot of my situation I still don't have any other complexion products on my face. I just did my skincare and then put that primer on. And I'm really liking how it looks and feels. Of course, I have to try stuff on top of it. Moving on to the eye because I want to get the eye done first before we move on to the face and then the lip. So NYX came out with a small little line of new metallic glitters. Um, as far as I know, I think their glitters that they had before were metallic. I got number three and number five. So number three is called Beauty Beam. And I would describe this as like a rosy holographic color. I also got number five, which is called Lumalite. And this one I would describe as like an iridescent snow color, like a very beautiful winter color. And now I will show you some swatches. I'm gonna apply both of these glitters to my eye after I get some like eyeshadow on you know my eyes prime and all that stuff so I did all of my eye makeup that I would normally do before I put on glitter so I primed my lips with concealer I set them with powder and put some eyeshadow on did my brows and then did the under eye same deal with the eyeshadow what I noticed about that primer though to begin with the primer that we're testing the drop primer basically I really love how it feels on all of my face except my under eye it might just be because I'm almost 25 I'm aging a little bit you know I've got some fine lines I don't really like the way that my concealer my shape tape which like sits over everything nicely normally I don't like the way it sits on this primer so I'll have to probably use like my Hangover RX primer from Too Faced but that I will have to continue to use under my eye because it's just like more hydrating less silicone it doesn't have any silicone in it now it's time to apply the glitters because this is kind of like a trying new products video it's not gonna be like a tutorial of how to do the most beautiful cut crease glitter thing no like I'm not here for that today maybe soon with these same glitters I can show you like a really beautiful eye look but this one's like a little bit more simple a little bit more accessible so what I was gonna do I was gonna put the beauty beam just like right on the lid like just you know a little a little patchy patch of it not any kind of distinct shape of it and then I was gonna do this like over my eyeshadow that I have on the bottom lash so I'll quickly do that for you guys well, I have no idea how this looks right now I can barely barely see in my mirror I just see something sparkly made it on my eyes and then all down the rest of my face I know for a fact I'm not gonna be able to apply the lower lash line one like I want to so I'm gonna quickly go off camera and do that and I'll be back with the rest of my eye makeup on as well I'm back with all the eye makeup on on top of the glitter primer you know I did like 
Blackwood liner. I did um, some skinny mascara on the bottom, some troublemaker mascara on the top lashes. I put some false lashes on, and here I am moving on to the face. So I've already, you know, put more shape tape on my face. I use it as like a high coverage foundation. I really like to do that. I don't have any problems doing that. Some people are like, whoa, concealer as foundation, no thanks. And then I put some powder over to set it. I want to show you this NYX Micro Contour Duo Pencil. So I've never seen anything quite like this. It's like contour on one side, highlight, I guess, on the other side. On the back of it, it gives some ideas of stuff that you can do with them. So this top one is like lip contour type of situation. And the bottom one is like a nose contour. So I really wanted to try doing both of those things and seeing if I could really do that with this. So this is the highlight side. And then and it's pretty creamy actually. And then the contour side. So I don't know about the contour that looks a little warm to me. But we'll have to try it and see. It's not a bad color for a lippy as it is. Maybe I'm supposed to highlight on them first because I'm like, my lip color is not matching what that looks like on there. They even have it up like, you know, like the booger lines. So I'm gonna do that just for the sake of the contour and like drawing back into the light to make a fullness. <laughs> that doesn't look like it looks on there. <laughs> while I do my, my nose, or while I try to. This is what the nose thing looks like. That's crooked. See, my nose is already crooked. <laughs> and see if that will blend this because this is a wild look. Keep in mind I applied this with the close mirror. I look like a really mirrored weirdo. So I've gathered my blending friends to my arsenal. I'm gonna try and take care of this crazy face. So I've got our final verdict on that pencil and on the primer. So the primer blurs over pores so beautifully, but if you have fine lines and stuff like that, I would not use that one for fine lines um, or areas in your face where you have fine lines. I would use a different primer for, instead of the drop primer. Um, so about this uh, contour pencil. So up close, I look scary. Like, I don't know if you can see the lip situation with the lips the contour color looked really pretty you could actually use that as like a lip crayon I would say because it's really beautiful color really creamy but as soon as I put that highlight color on my lip oh it looks really scary on the nose everything looked normal but blending it out was a really big challenge because like just I have a lot of like you know curves around my nose from far away when I put the mirror over there on the table it looked really nice and kind of like, you know, contoured and my lips like look way different than normal. I mean, depending on the look, if I'm going for like a very no makeup makeup look, then these lips would be like in the context of this like full glam kind of look, trying out these products, I would feel I'm missing something if I just left it like this. Quickly, I just had one other thing to say about that duo contour pencil. When you blend it out enough to like make it look not crazy contoured cut up all kind of thing 
it almost looks like it just blends away. I'm gonna go away and put the rest of my face makeup on, you know, like bronzer, blush, highlight, that type of stuff. And then I'll come back and we'll try out some lip products. So I've got three lip products right here. One of them is like a powder lip cream that's kind of more of a matte finish. And then I have two lip glosses. I wanted to try one of the lip glosses first so that I could try it over the lip contour to see if that would work. And again, like I keep looking into my mirror and far away the lip looks good already, but close it's really scary because that light contour color stuck on to every freaking piece of dry skin on my lips even though I exfoliated earlier it's wild this is the duo chromatic shimmer lip gloss and this is in number two called crushing it here's a swatch of it and it has like the same kind of like doe foot applicator like a lot of their lippies do Way, it looks nice. I'm gonna go off camera real quick, remove that contour, and see what it looks like just on its own because I feel like this is not a fair shot and not a fair swatch to give it. I wipe that stuff off to the best of my ability, and then I just put some lip balm on so that I could hopefully get rid of those patches, but they're still there. So I'm gonna try this one more time. looks a lot like the swatch but just like over my lip color so this is not like something that I'd normally wear because I'm kind of not like the most like neon shimmer duochrome kind of girl but it feels really nice it's not sticky at all which is crazy I'm kind of feeling it dang it I like it too much actually because I have two other lip products that I have to try out but I want to leave this one on <laughs> So I'm gonna come back with clean lips so I can try the next one for you. Next one I have, this is the NYX Powder Puff Lippy. So it's a powder lip cream. So it has this like little fluffy, I wanna call this a doe foot, but this is not a doe foot. This is kinda like a sponge over a tubey thing. So I bet you could remove this somehow and just like put it out like in the tube. So I swatched these in the store and I picked this one out because it was like the prettiest a bit here it comes there we go so I really like this because it applied just like so soft and it just like seemed really nice and this was like the nicest color out of all of the ones that I saw so I'm gonna apply this silky and it's not a bad color either this reminds me a lot of the soft matte lip creams but a little bit more newer and gimmicky I love the soft matte lip creams don't get me wrong but I just never reach for them because they don't stay on you know what I mean so I kind of like suspect that this might be kind of the same so on another day I'll have to try this out you know like do like a whole day's wear test for you guys but this one is called number one cool intentions so this one just has like a really soft natural look to it another one that's really great for like a no makeup makeup look i kind of want to wear this one too because it's really comfy but i have to try another one for you guys so i'll be right back with clean lips so we can try this last one so this is the last product that i want to tell you about and this is like the one i was most excited about so if it flops this is gonna end on a sad note this is the NYX Strictly Vinyl Lip Gloss. And this is number four called Femme Fatale. So the reason I got this, in the front of the store, they have this tower that's all just like new NYX stuff. So these, these Strictly Vinyl ones, I saw them on a different shelf of that same tower. And in the graphic, it appeared to be very pigmented lip gloss. So I was like, ooh, I wanna check that out. Cause like I used to be, super crazy lip gloss head but I never have pigmented lip glosses I'd always have like tinted with glitter or whatever but times are changing different things are coming into popularity and this is a black lip gloss allegedly so that's why I wanted to try it I'm so excited because if it's really as black as it says it is 
and glossy. So, ooh, she thick. I'm gonna swatch her right here. Whoa, yes, honey, yes. Oh my goodness. So that was just like one coat of it. Let me see if I can make it a little more even. I'll be right back. First thing I will say about this, it is so sticky, okay? It's way not the same formula as that duochrome one. It's really cute. Like, I will say, like, this is a look. It's not perfect, though, so it's kind of, like, streaky. It's not as pigmented as I thought it would be. Like, I thought I would get, like, one coat, you know? But I had to go back in, and going back in obviously you have like a thick layer on your lips and it's I'll have a sip of tea and then I'll show you that's kind of the look that we're getting so it's like totally transfers totally sticky it's really cute though you can look past like the way it feels and it's like not as pigmented as you would hope black would be then it's a look like I probably I don't see myself returning this because this is like a very unique look that I've never really worn before. Like, I've done like black lipsticks, but they were always matte. So, I'm gonna keep this on as long as I can. But yeah, with this look, I mean, it's like, you know, a little drama here. And this is just like very new for me. Like, black lip gloss? Like, where they do that at? guys from the bottom of my heart for watching i love making videos like this this is like one of the reasons that i do youtube like i just love trying new things and sharing my opinions with you guys i want to thank you guys so much for watching sorry for the long video make sure to like down below and if you're not subscribed subscribe to my channel it's called Weta's world it looks like it says guera's world but it's pronounced Weta. if you are subscribed hit that notification bell down below that will actually notify you when I posted a video. It's being subscribed doesn't actually do that anymore. Thanks YouTube. Leave a comment down below. What should I try next from Nyx? Thank you. Bye.